Uh, we're going to be doing some knee cars today. So what you're going to be doing with this is you're going to be irradiating, tensing around that knee. We only want the knee moving. We're looking for motion at the knee rather than anywhere else. There will be a little bit elsewhere, but the idea is to try and only move the knee. We're going to be doing two variations on this knee cars, one with the leg in the air and one with it on the ground. Some people find one way easier than the other. So if I'm going to be doing the one in the ground, pop my hand underneath there. You can grab your shoulder like this, or you can just hug it depending on what's more comfortable for you and how much hamstring range you have. What we're going to do is we're going to radiate, tense everything. So I'm going to tense this whole leg, trap my air, and close, open my foot. We're going to bring it out as much as I can. I'm looking for motion here at the knee. Then I'm going to be extending, then rotating inwards, and coming down to flex to what our limit is. So the motion is rotate that foot out, get the motion at the knee, extend, rotate that foot in, get the motion inwards, and pull in while we're tensing the whole time. So we come all the way out, extend, inwards, coming down. We want to do that reverse, so we stay inwards, we extend up, rotate all the way out, and come down. Rotate in, up, all the way out, nice and slow, controlled, you should feel the knee moving here. To do it with the, with the variation, we're going to be here, and we're going to be flexing and extending, so you need to have a surface that's flat, this yoga mat's very sticky, so that won't work. So I'm going to be here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate out, just like we did in the other way, then I'm going to be, and I'm pushing into the ground here, using that for my radiation, extending down, and then I'm going to rotate inwards. I'm putting my hand, you can see, on the inside here as I come up to stop my knee from going so far in because that's hip motion. Then I'm putting it out to try and get less hip motion going outwards. So we're going down, and then we come inwards, flexing as we go. So if we reverse that action, we're going to stay inwards and pushing. So I'm trying to push my foot inwards as much as I can to try and get more knee motion. Then I go outwards, and I'm trying to push that foot outwards to try and get more knee motion here between the tibia and the femur. And we go inwards, flexing, extending down, and then we come outwards, flexing all the way up through the motion. That's your two variations on your knee cars.